In this video, we're gonna be looking at the best rep range for muscle strength. If you haven't seen the best rep range for muscle gain video, check it out here by Chad Dolan, our head researcher. He's getting a PhD. But today we're gonna to look at a recent study which looked at a heavy versus moderate load, but they didn't volume match this time. No, no, no. But what they did do is they set match. So they had one group do three sets of eight to 12 reps, and one group do three sets of two to four repetitions. So we're gonna go over to the desktop now and look in a little bit more detail. Science, bitch. Yes, it's the science part. So just to clarify, we know there was a moderate load and heavy load, and that obviously dictated repetitions, eight to 12, two to four. But I just wanted to clarify, it was three sets. Both groups done three sets and done exactly the same seven exercises. So let's get into the results. That's what you're here for. So scrolling down, what I really wanna highlight is the difference in volume. So as stated here, the total aggregate weekly volume over the eight week period was significantly greater in the moderate group. It was 56,049 compared to 25,867. So more than double the volume. So when we look at muscle thickness, muscle hypertrophy, there was a significant difference between the moderate and heavy load. This we expected because they did double the amount of volume. However, when we look at the maximal strength, both groups did increase their strength, but there was a significant difference being more favored that the heavy load made better strength gains. Now you can see the tables here, you can pause the screen now, you're back with me, to see exactly what they found. Last thing I wanna discuss is some notes from the actual authors themselves. Now, knowing that the volume wasn't matched, but the strength group got better strength gains, they can speculate that neural adaptations associated with training close to ones, one RM, were responsible for the superior strength gains when using heavy loads. So the neural adaptations and muscular adaptations. So finally, what this suggests is that volume is the key when it comes to hypertrophy. But the principle of specificity, yes, I said it right. If you wanna get strong, then lift heavy weights for low reps. If you wanna run further, then run further. If you wanna increase muscle size, then look at increasing your volume over time. If you like that video, hit like. And if you haven't subscribed, come on, seriously, hit subscribe.